yeah, it makes it a really special place to live. Yeah. Some more love. We need to What's up, How are you, Right? Yeah. How old is this? One day old. One day old. Two, two days old. Ah, uh, okay. Finally arrived to Belgrade and it's a clearly basketball city because from the first moment we had the taxi driver uh, whose uncle was a basketball coach. Then we, we saw all these Nikola Jokic uh, posters, big one, big one on like 36th floor skyscraper uh, here next to the airport. We usually criticize EuroLeague for not marketing itself enough, but uh, clearly whenever we came to Belgrade, we saw, we've seen all those Final Four posters and everything. You could feel that the big event is finally here, you know. The best thing about Team Arrivals was that finally, after all this COVID year, the season, the Final Four without fans, finally we had all this basketball community, basketball family all together under one roof. And you could clearly see the joy of people just meeting each other finally after all these years. Yeah, especially Sharas, I think he spent like 10 minutes greeting everyone, whoever saw you. You could feel that he was a star of that hotel. And it took uh, us almost one hour to take a picture of all six Lithuanians representing Barcelona. And, you know, it's just the start of the whole event because fans are already coming, they are arriving. And the biggest thing is that Olympiacos might have almost 10,000 fans supporting them in the semifinals. And the, let's say, best or worst part is that Cervena Zvezda Football Club might secure the, the Mystic Football Championship on Saturday, the same day as the final day. So I talked with some Serbian people and they said that, okay, if Zvezda is winning the Mystic League and the Olympiakos is winning the EuroLeague, I'm out of town because it just, it's gonna be, I don't know, they're gonna put all the city on fire. Yeah, so it's basically my first big tournament like that and obviously first Final Four. The One of the biggest impressions for me was how much of space there are there is for media, you know, because I was in the FIBA Champions League Final Four a week or so ago. And yeah, we had all those places and a stand to work, but yeah, EuroLeague is a different animal. And to be fair, I think the biggest, even though we had a blast, couple of those two days probably the biggest event was our ride home after all those team meetings wasn't it 156 kilometers per hour in the uh, middle of belgrade the middle whenever of belgrade. police car stands in front of you on the other side of the road The third day was dedicated to, for media activities. It, it all started very early in the morning, around 11.30, with EuroLeague award ceremony. The MVP for the 2021-22 Turkish Airlines EuroLeague season is Nikola Mirotic from FC Barcelona. A couple weeks ago, uh, my dear friend Nicolate said, in case you win MVP, please remember me on your, on your speech. <laughs> so, <laughs> I said to him, I will. Yes, so there was Želko Bradovic, Bojidar Malkovic, Dejan Tomasevic, Nikola Vujic, a lot of great, great former players and current executives. <laughs> There were more Serbian basketball greats, but to be honest, the official press conference for the award ceremony and then later for the final four participants, it was pretty disappointing. There were no catchy phrases, nothing special, nothing to write in a rush, right? Yeah, and especially some of the players, when they came to receive the award, they didn't say any comment or anything. But those guys who were missing, like Mike James or Kyle Hines, uh, yeah, they just sent video message and that was it. So, pretty inconsistent basis. Okay, okay. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. 
Greek fans, right? Greek fans, Malakas for the Olympiakos. Basketball yeah. fans in general. I uh, hope we have a three overtimes, let's say. <laughs> three overtimes. Let's have four quarters, Olympiakos winning, all the fans not invading the court, but you know, celebrating uh, yeah, in a blast. No, here is difficult to invade. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting player. night. Thank you so much Bye. for the feedback. That was interesting. Anyways, it was very interesting to see so many basketball personalities among media members. And of course, you cannot not notice Big Sofo, who is working for Greek media, but there was also coach Sasha Filipovsky commentating games for Slovenian TV, Fotis Katsikaris for Greek TV. So, I mean, big uh, basketball personalities are also here with media graduations. I think it's a good to see because we, we see this kind of trend in the USA for, for years now. And it feels like the European players are also taking this path. So if any big time your league coaches or players want to join us, feel free to reach us out. That was it for the warm up. Let's see you in the next one.